Good morning. It is too early. I cannot have coffee because it gives me a panic attack. How are y'all? Anyways, today we're going to be doing the 10,000 mile slash one year service on my 2021 Volkswagen Jetta. Now you might be saying to yourself, Kaylee, if you have a 2000 and up Volkswagen Jetta, you know that you get the first two oil changes for free, right? And to that, all I have to say is, Volkswagen couldn't get me in until like next month. And before I knew that you could get those services included for free once you buy the car new, I had already ordered an ECS kit that came with like all the oil I need and all the parts. So we're just gonna do the dang thing. I'm tired of waiting. As you can tell, it is clearly the judge's birthday and she demands gifts. We will provide. First step, jack up your cat. So this is the oil and the goods. You get UCS tuning. You got your filter. You've got your plug, you've got all of the oil you're gonna need. Um, I would strongly recommend, if you can, get a kit because a lot of times, like your run of the mill auto store, is not gonna have the specific oil that Volkswagens need. Because Volkswagens are kind of like that girl you once dated that was really out of your league and like she knew it. So, like, she really required specific, like, care and things. That's. That's a Volkswagen. She don't she don't really like running off that regular shit. That's just what I understand at least. They also give you a little service sticker. Love that. Thanks, ECS. So realistically you're gonna need these three tools for the most part, besides like your oil wrench. You've got a 19 millimeter to get your oil plug out. You've got a T25 to get your small torque spits for the cover off and then a T45 to get the bigger torque spits on the back off. Okay, so now that you've got all of this freed up, your oil filter is right here and your oil drain plug is just right here. So let's get started. So when getting your oil filter out, you're probably gonna need an oil wrench. Um, now this one specifically is not quite small enough to fit around this. So a hack that I've learned is to just just get like an old rag or something and just wrap it around the oil filter if you don't have a properly sized wrench and then just put this around it and it'll typically give it enough grip to get it out. Two hours later. They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. <sighs> Oh my god, I think you got it. Yeah, no, it. it's moving. Got it. You're getting it. Go, go, go. Yay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I figure I can at least, I can at least struggle together. Okay, finally. New filter. Literally looks exactly the same as the old one. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this oil here and just line the seal like so and stick that back in there and please for the love of god do not over tighten your oil filters you should really just be in there like hand tight a little bit more than hand tight maybe it should not be super crazy hard to get out all right now that that sog is over with we are gonna put our new plug right in Time to put the shield back on. All right. 
right, let's lower this thing, put some oil in it, reset the light, and call it a day. So if you did get the ECS oil kit, you get exactly five quarts of 0W20 oil. And so last but not least, we are going to dump these right into here and fill this bad boy up. So it looks like about four and a half quarts did it for this. I've kind of let all the oil settle for a few minutes, kind of work its way down. Hi, this is Kaylee from the future, and I just wanted to say, as a side note, I thought that I had recorded this before, but please do not forget to put your oil cap back on. I actually have known several lube technicians that have done that, and all I'm gonna say is, the oil cap's important. Please remember to put it back on. So now, last thing to do is to turn the car on and reset the service reminder. All right. How do we reset this pesky service light? I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so key in the ignition. Don't start the car, don't put it into accessory mode. Hold the trip reset button. Turn the key into accessory mode. And then it pops up with the reset oil change service too. And then press yes. The service interval was reset. Cool, so that should be it. I'm gonna start the car now and see if it's not gonna at me. Cool. No more light. Done. Finally. Ending notes. 10 out of 10 would recommend just getting a kit because it comes with everything that you need. So do that or not. Whatever you want to do. Like I said, you don't have to do the first two oil changes. In this specific case, if Volkswagen doesn't want to see you for the next month and if apparently there's like an oil shortage because that's a thing due to a certain virus, then just order a kit. I don't know. Go. I don't know.